What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. It is your boy. Um. It is your boy, Neo Abandre. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I'm coming to you live and direct from the Imagination Warehouse. Imagination Warehouse is a brand new nightclub that's getting ready to open tomorrow. Here with some of my staff, with my um, GM and my DJ manager. Um, but this is the club. This is going to be straight gorgy, straight flame. We're excited to open tomorrow at 2 p.m. SLT. Um, but I wanted to shoot this video here. Um, just to show you one of my... Uh, um, passions. One of my passions that I like um, doing on Second Life, which is DJ. So when I first came to SL, my GM talked to me. When I first came to SL. I love being my clubs and chilling. Um, I was with this MC, and um, some of my first experiences were in nightclubs. And I noticed, you know, DJs playing the music and getting on mic and talking. And I really huh, fell in love with that. I've always been in love with DJ before SL. I was always asked to DJ um, at my apartment complex. Every single party that we had, you would see me down there with my sound gear, my laptop, tearing it up. And I'm like, if I do this live and in person, I can do this on SL. And I was like, I would have a lot of fun doing this on SL. And so, um, I started trying to figure out, well, how do I get into this? How do I get into this? Um, shout out to Tyrion Broadmoor of, um, I'm trying to think of the school's name. Um, ah, I'll try to put it in comments below get a chance later um, but he has a DJ school and for like it's like 2500 Linden which is not a lot of money 2500 Linden is not a lot as far as US dollars and the first thing that I the first myth that I want to bust being an SL DJ is that it's a job that's free you want a job when you can start off for free, go be a host. Really. Hosting takes nothing but typing your fingers and being friendly. That's what being a host requires. Um, if you want something that costs nothing. Um, even, like I said, didn't want to get started. I didn't understand software. I didn't understand things like Sam, Video DJ, uh, not Video DJ, Virtual DJ. Um, so, I actually, you know, I paid. I paid for this schooling, and it was only an hour, hour and a half on Skype. But he took me from basically where to go to purchase Sam, how to set up Sam, get it going, how to get a stream going. He sells streams and stuff. I sell streams too. 
um, on the screen is going to have a little too much showing this website. But you know how to set up your screen in in sound software and how to get you know how to get going, how to do um, you know mixing, how to put it, um, how to set your set so that it can autoplay on Sam, um, which is cool. I call Sam the training wheels for DJ, um, just because. It's, to me, it's a very basic program. It has a lot of functionality in it, and it's cool. You're going to have to spend the second asset to becoming a better DJ, which is time. You're going to have to make sets. You're going to have to come up with ideas for sets and create, craft your sets, put your songs together. Even if you're just using Sam, you're going to have to do this. And... You're gonna have to, you know, craft and, and and put your songs together and figure out, you know, how to do transitions. Um, the different, you know, you want to become good at something, you gotta learn. So I had to die, you know, almost dissect Sam as a program. But um, I want to go back to the first misconception was money because after playing around with Sam for a while, I started getting okay, I applied to some jobs, and I got jobs, um, there's a nightclub I'm not going to mention, I got love for the owner, and the owner sees this video, I wish that we wasn't beefing because the, one of the co-owner has died in real life, and I wish that we wasn't beefing, and I think that the beef started over a huge misconception. But it is what it is. Um, drama. There's a lot of drama in nightclubs too. So if you're going to be in any kind of nightclub work. On uh, SL. Get used to it. Already. Off the rip. But um. I um. While we're doing this. Let's put on some legal music. That's not going to get me a uh copyright strike because I feel like if I'm playing I'm talking about music then maybe I should have something going in the background there we go there we go um but um yeah there's drama in clubs but I, I made money I made the money back um, they're, like I said, serious time investment. Um, it's not always going to work out the way that you like as a um, DJ. There's been plenty of sets where I've shown up, didn't have a host, where I had to learn how to host, and spin records at the same time. Shout out Coda, one of the best DJs in the game. Well, following me, um, you know, it is what it is, yo, Draco, but, um, yeah, there's times where I DJ to just myself, um, and I still worked, I still felt that I had to work. What's up, Toshida, Shaw? You know, that is part of the game. It's part of the game. You're not... It's not going to be easy. I guarantee you. Um, but then, going back to item number one, I had to set my game up. And so, I elevated myself from... Um, you know, Sam, triumphant, um, you know, I dated myself from Sam to, um, video DJ, um, the pandemic hit, and the people that make Serato was like, here, we're gonna give Serato away for free, 
and they gave Serato away for free. I still can't believe it because Serato is such an expensive program. But they gave away Serato Pro for free. So I lucked out and got that free. But Video DJ, I still pay a, um, you know, a subscription for. It is what it is. I still have to pay a subscription for Video DJ. Um, so, um, I, you know, and even this morning, I, I'm not going to give away the game, because the game is to be sold, not to be told, um, and I don't want to have other DJs on SL mad at me, um, but I've been going to sets, something I've been doing, just going to sets and listening to other DJs, and figuring out, like, some of their secrets, it is what it is, and going back into my native software, like things like VDJ and other DJ softwares, and figuring out what um, you know what they're doing and how they're doing it, breaking that down in my head. How are like how are you doing this? What are you doing? It? And uh, Spazzy, I have a cat named Spaz. Shout out. Um, Strawberry Sink! Oh ho! Royalty! I should say Strawberry Linden now. Um, but, yeah. I think I know you just subscribed, homegirl. Um, but, yeah. Sitting here thinking and evaluating life and, and DJing and stuff, I had to break down what they were doing and to elevate my game. That took time. That took money. I, you know, VDJ is not free. I have to pay a subscription. Um, so, being one of the best DJs, I'm not calling myself a best DJ. I'm still a rookie rook. Uh, people like it, like my sets. I don't get too many complaints. I do take requests, and I, you know, try to keep my party, the party, entertained. And that's the last point that I wanted to bring on to be talking about being a good DJ is that you're an entertainer. So you have to talk. You have. Um, there's a lot of DJs that are like, I'm just going to DJ just by playing music, and that's cool. And you can get work. I'm not saying that you can't. You can get work that way. You can work in clubs that way where you never go on mic. Where nobody ever hears your voice. But if you really want to be a next level DJ where you're getting things like private events and parties and things like that, then you got to get on mic, pimpin. You got to be an entertainer. You have to talk. You have to entertain people. People... When they come, they want to come and they want to be, they want to laugh, they want to smile, um, you know, encourage chat, you see something that people are chatting about in the chat, whatever, say something about it when you go on mic or whatever, encourage the chatting. So, I didn't give away too much game, DJs, I know that the game is to be sold, not to be told, and I don't want to make my DJ homies mad at me. But I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, it's not a cakewalk being a good DJ, a next level DJ. There's a lot of crap DJs in SL, and I don't want to be that. I want to be one of the best someday. I want to be one of the ones that they book for these festivals and events and things like that. I want to book for private parties and things like that. And networking is last, I'm going to say. Like, I've been going to parties and then meeting people that hire DJs. Uh, people that kind of, there's this one chick, um, I can't think of her name right now, but she has like a stable of DJs that she has that works with her, that she gets hired for a lot of these African American parties, these Greek parties and things like that, and she has, you know, they they say we need a DJ or whatever, she has a stable of DJs, and, but she's a hostess, that's all she does is host, but she's like a manager for DJs as well, networking. You know, so maybe 
I'm now maybe in her mind if she needs a DJ for something and her stable can't fulfill it or whatever, maybe I can get down with the stable. Networking. It takes effort, guys. Anything that you do in life takes effort. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening and for being here with your boy. It's your boy Neo Avon Drip. And uh, make sure that you hit that like that that like button. If you like this video, share it to your DJ friends and homies on SL. And hit that subscribe because I would subscribe to you and I will subscribe back. I subscribe to people that subscribe to me. Alright, so um uh, let's get it in, y'all.